Section 6, Colonizing at Institutional Centers. We are not to colonize. In our day, the Lord desires that his people shall be dispersed throughout the earth. They are not to colonize. Jesus said, Ye go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16:15. When the disciples followed their inclination to remain in large numbers in Jerusalem, persecution was permitted to come upon them, and they were scattered to all parts of the inhabited world. For years, messages of warning and entreaty have been coming to our people, urging them to go forth into the Master's great harvest field and labor unselfishly for souls. Testimonies, Volume 8, page 215, 1904. Scatter to unworn places. Many of the members of our large churches are doing comparatively nothing. They might accomplish a good work if, instead of crowding together, they would scatter into places that have not yet been entered by the truth. Trees that are planted too thickly do not flourish. They are transplanted by the gardener that they may have room to grow and not become dwarfed and sickly. The same rule would work well for our large churches. Many of the members are dying spiritually for want of this very work. They are becoming sickly and inefficient. Transplanted, they would have room to grow strong and vigorous. It is not the purpose of God that his people should colonize or settle together in large communities. The disciples of Christ are his representatives upon the earth, and God designs that they shall be scattered all over the country, in the towns, cities, and villages as lights amidst the darkness of the world. They are to be missionaries for God by their faith and works testifying to the near approach of the coming Savior, where there is an opening for a livelihood. The lay members of our churches can accomplish a work which as yet they have scarcely begun. None should move into new places merely for the sake of worldly advantage, but where there is an opening to obtain a livelihood, let families that are well grounded in the truth enter one or two families in a place to work as missionaries. They should feel a love for souls, a burden of labor for them, and should make it a study how to bring them into the truth. They can distribute our publications, hold meetings in their homes, become acquainted with their neighbors, and invite them to come to these meetings. Thus they can let their light shine in good works. Testimonies, Volume 8, pages 244 and 245, 1904. Let not institutional attractions lure you. Those who feel like settling close to our publishing house or our sanitarium and school at Tacoma Park should take counsel before they move. To those who are looking toward Mountain View as a favorable place in which to live because the Pacific Press is to be established there, I would say, look to other parts of the world which need the light that you have received in trust. Remember that God has given to every man his work. Choose some locality where you will have opportunity to let your light shine forth amid the moral darkness. It is always the case that when an institution is established in a place, there are many families who desire to settle near it. Thus it has been in Battle Creek and in Oakland, and to some extent in almost every place where we have a school or a sanitarium. Fundamentals of Christian Education, pages 494 and 495, 1904. Establish no Jerusalem centers. Our people are not to regard blank as a Jerusalem center. Let them not think because a number of our people are called here to connect with the publishing work that this is a place for large numbers of our people to settle with their families. And let everyone connected with the office hold himself in readiness to leave if God shall call him to some new place. Manuscript 148, 1905. Do not crowd into one place, making the same mistake that has been made in Battle Creek. There are hundreds of places that need the light God has given you. Fundamentals of Christian Education, page 495, 1904. Remain in small churches, start new schools. Many families who, for the purpose of educating their children, move to places where our large schools are established, would do better service for the Master by remaining where they are. 
they should encourage the church of which they are members to establish a church school where the children within their borders could receive an all-around practical Christian education. It would be vastly better for their children, for themselves, and for the cause of God if they would remain in the smaller churches where their help is needed instead of going to the larger churches where, because they are not needed, there is constant temptation to fall into spiritual inactivity. Wherever there are few Sabbath keepers, the parents should unite in providing a place for a day school where their children and youth can be instructed. They should employ a Christian teacher who, as a consecrated missionary, shall educate the children in such a way as to lead them to become missionaries. Councils to Teachers, page 173 and 174, 1913. How must the angels feel? I think how the angels must feel seeing the end approaching and those who claim to have the knowledge of God and Jesus Christ whom he hath sent huddle together, colonize, and attend meetings and feel discouraged and dissatisfied if there is not much preaching to benefit their souls and strengthen the church while they are doing literally nothing. Letter 16C, 1892. Enlarge and expand, but not at a center. The people are encouraged to center in Battle Creek, and they pay their tithe and give their influence to the building up of a modern Jerusalem that is not after God's order. In this work, other places are cut off from facilities which they should have. Enlarge ye, spread, yes, but not in one place. Go out and establish centers of influence in places where nothing or next to nothing has been done. Break up your consolidated mass, diffuse the saving beams of light, and shed light into the darkened corners of the earth. Testimonies to Ministers, pages 254 and 255, 1895. 